Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play of Crusader Kings 2. I am a complete and utter bastard who is trying to turn every kingdom into the Kingdom of England. Uh, we're 13 years into 100 years of doing it for France, 6 years of doing it into Aquitaine because we had to take so many years off that France had already done, 19 years into Brittany, 27 years into making Wales... Oh. Oh, it's the individual counties. Oh, so Cornwall's like 26 years in. Brittany, obviously, yeah, 19 years in. Or even did Normandy, because that last province hasn't actually got in much. Yeah, we've got a bit of a head start on Toulouse, but that's about it. Hmm. But yeah, uh, hopefully we'll have, you know, one huge kingdom. I still haven't worked out what empire it is, but after this recording session, I should know. <laughs> Where were we? Oh, Holy War. Where's my troops? My troops are on the boat, and we're going to bring them over. At the minute, the crusade isn't going well. We're losing by 20%, and it looks like it's only going to be ourselves fighting. I wonder, do you still get the penalty from... Let's turn the speed down a little bit because I'm going to miss so much if I don't. I think you can deal with your own uprising, so I'll accept and then ignore you. Oh crap, I still have that one county to give away. Which uh, the Twitch chat has suggested to me to keep, you know, like pick five or pick a county or something like that out. Which I know I'm going to keep for like the rest of time. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't have time to do anything there. Uh, I don't know where it is I want my king to be yet. Uh, to a point where I'm not going to spend the... I must have already been spending, but I'm not going to spend any more tech points. Because this is a brilliant county to have as your capital county. Because of you know, it's rich land and there's so many of them in within it. But... We definitely don't own much here, so let's get rid of Dorset. Um, oh no, I need to find a person to give it away to. Finding people is... Find characters here. In my realm, gender, ma'am. In prison, no. Married, no. Ruler, no. My religion, yes. My culture, yes. Adult... Yes, great house. Don't care. Sort by age. How <laughs> curious, just sort by age. And I hate how Normans are considered to be French. They're more Viking than French. It means I have to deal with all these stupid Frenchies when I sort by Norman. So the oldest Norman in the land who despises me. Did I do lots of tyrannical stuff? Hmm. I sort by opinion. Yeah, screw it. We'll give it to someone who likes me instead. It's not got a bad diplomacy score. I'm not going to use him like, but... Let's give him the land, because he actually likes me. Grant a landed title. Which one did I say it is? Herefordshire? Chief Weiss. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Wiltshire. Wiltshire. I hate how I'm even getting the English stuff wrong. But what duchy is that? It's Weiss. So, one of you two could become that duke. But we'll leave that for now, because you both like me, and... Yeah, it looks like some of that land's gone into there, so that's going to be annoying to resort out. But we will end up creating the duke there, I believe. All these wars going on in my land and nothing to do with me. Hmm. Wait for my troops to arrive. As a daughter was born... Oh, your daughter was born of... Uh, my granddaughter from my son-in-law. Why did we marry you again? Oh, because you're going to get claims on a duchy up in Sweden. So we can try and put people on there in it, yes. Uh, 
And let's let time continue on. Hopefully my troops will arrive soon. I did send them going, didn't I? Yes, I did. Good. Come on, crusade. We already have Acre in Jerusalem. Crusade for Jerusalem. Uh, but Pope, we already have the holy city. Um, Trying to think where to siege up first. Let's stay on the coast. And what's the supply limit going to be there for? Oh, 17k. So actually, let's split in half. Oh, we already are split in half. And I'll command the smaller army with the better generals. And we will put the slightly worse generals in control of the larger army. And we'll just sit in siege. I've got the trait Crusader. William the Bastard the Crusader. Where's the Crusader one? No, wait, 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 wait. Cavalry leader, combat modifier. Crush revolt. I'm gaining the piety and the prestige. Oh, yeah, sorry. I had to wait for the event. Devolt. I gained the trait Crusader. Which is a straight plus two marshal when we already have a ridiculous 20-odd marshal in the first place. That might gain to some of them that we've lost from getting old. A victory, we're taking no attrition here. 10,000 troops, we have to you know, muster up quite a strong force to do that. And we are already 9% of the contributions towards the war. And look at it tick up. Is it to do with troops over time, maybe? I can't quite remember. <laughs> I know I worked out you know, the best way to do these, but obviously not. Good, the Pope sending some troops. Hardly any. A castle's been built. Please say I didn't inherit it. No, that's fine. I don't know why I've been told about that. Close all that down. And we've taken over the Pope, who's actually the only other person who can be contributing troops. Oh no, wait, the Irish are there running around like idiots. Yes, and that, that counts as contributing troops as well, I'd, I'd like you to know. But I do think, yo, know, we're... By the time we've sieged up enough of this, uh, my beloved daughter is concerned that she's not married. Oh, you was, um... Is he dead? That was a guy in Lyon who was going to inherit all that land. Who inherited? It wouldn't have been your daughter. There you go. It went to Sancho the Bold. Now he's the King of Castile. So he's the King of Leon now. King Sancho of Leon. King Sancho the Second of Leon. And King Sancho the Second of Castile. The Bold, but of Castile. So that, that, that doesn't get confusing. <laughs> who's your heir? Prince Philip. And who's your heir? I sort of want you to die now. What's my plot? When I try to kill a little boy, and somehow we didn't manage it. I'm going to take that off. I just want to check something. Let's kill him. Let's merge Castile and Leone and have a nice large kingdom to ourselves. You know, Kill one Christian to shore up the defense against the infidels. Where did Barcelona go? <laughs> but this does mean I can press that claim over here now. Can I? I have raised levies, but I can probably press that claim and take Barcelona from him. And it not being a holy war, they won't um, you know, be able to attack me. I need to find you a husband, don't I? That's what I was trying to do. Uh, arrange a marriage. Sort by rank. Any really courtiers I can seem to find for you? In that case, just any... Like, really high intrigue people? No. Learning, no. Pff, 
Who would want to marry the old lady uh, anyway? How old is she? 32. She's getting... Yeah, she's, she's still of childbearing age. Your wife's in prison. Uh, Denmark? Any unmarried sons? <laughs> would you... I, I really wouldn't think you'd do this, but... Actually, you almost would. <laughs> um, it's not a good marriage for you. How about Norway? Oh, Norway actually needs a wife. Arrange betrothal. You to my... No. The age of a princess is still good. I don't get how this is a no. That's minus two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To me, that's more pluses than minuses. Why is he saying no? Um, how about for Upperland? Oh, being run by a woman anyway. Uh, Ranger Patrol. I don't have the option for my daughter on that one. How about Swedes? You have a wife. Why are they all already married? I promised I'd... Screw it. I, I'll find you somebody, but it's going to be a randomer. Have fun with... Him. There we go. I'll find you someone nice. I'm, I'm sure he's nice. I, I vetted him very, very well. Sort of. Lie. I'll stand these tr boats down. I'm only going to be paying for them. Yes, and it's probably good I did that because I was starting to lose money. That's for the crusade. We're still only third in contributions, but we're going up and everyone else is going down. Oh, approve a plan. Yes, kill him. My daughter. Yeah, Miley Cyrus, go off to a random man. Um, I, I'm sure he'll do you well. He'll... Could have probably used better words then, but yeah. King William the Bastard's plot to kill King Sancho has won. So we now have Super Castile. We may have been losing land to the infidels here. I may... I border the infidels. I, I hadn't thought about that with them, but that's a lot of fair if I border them here and here where I've taken land in their territory. But they pushed all the way up to France. So we needed a strong Castile. This is why I did it. Yeah, don't don't kiss the snake. Kissing the snake would be bad. What's my possible plots? Uh, lots of kill people. Kill my wife. Uh, to the county of somewhere. I don't see why I'd want to do any of these. Bring wipers into my territory. Yeah, let's see if we can revoke wipers. Don't need the extra land, but my guess is he doesn't like me. If I can do that. And we're about to take second place in this. First siege has fallen. That should have given me lots of contribution. No, it didn't. But victory is ours. And I'm going to want to move these guys as a unit, so we're going to actually sit up and siege all the way through. Also, because I think the next set of sieges are going to be easier. And I'm surprised they haven't, like, massed up their troops to fight me yet. I usually see large stacks against, you know, a holy war. And I've ever sent 2,000 against 10,000. Unfortunately, I'm not leading that battle, but idiots. 
Battle of Jerusalem and two other battles. That must have been a big Battle of Jerusalem. Fought in my land, but it wasn't mine. And we're up to second place. We only have to take the over the second Irish. He might call himself a king, but he's a freaking count. Another victory. Thank you. We've captured somebody. Another victory. Another siege. One more and that's fully sieged up. There's two more here. That all got in the way. Successful jihad. Oh, this might be why he wasn't sending so many troops. Because he was also jihading for Anatolia. <sighs> Cursed infidels. This might mean a load of troops going to be coming back now. Let's see. If I'm going to make you king of Jerusalem. Both of these options are good for it. Just and charitable. Zealous would be brilliant. But I think there's better ways of getting zealous. So let's try for just or charitable. He became just. Not a bad little character really. Okay. Actually we're having the one kingdom. Uh, what's our laws? I mean, we could try to go to elective monarchy. Oh, we have no chance. Vassals fighting each other. I can't stop that. Yeah, let's just siege up a bit more. Uh, let him rot. Cursed infidels. Why am I going to let them out? Don't be stupid. Another little victory in the siege. And they're attacking again with 2,000. We're actually winning this now. What's this war? Oh, the uprising. Fredicelli. I'm happy for you to go to Fredicelli. Then I can probably holy war you if I want to. Not that I'd want to holy war my wife. You, you get, you see. But could be interesting. My liege, I write you on behalf of Bad News from Middlesex. My efforts to squeeze the taxes... Oh. oh. You just got beaten up by the peasantry, I believe. Let's chase down these guys here. Before they have a chance to heal. So he's coming at me. Yes, to get away from my army of 10,000 men. He's running at an army of 10,000 men. Makes so much sense, game. Won the battle. You're stupidly marching into Sir. Uh, we're going to march down and seize, siege up some more land. Yeah, there we go. And get back into the Kingdom of Jerusalem because it has good supply limits. Whereas the rest of your lands, Mr. Batamid Empire, doesn't seem to. So, poo to you. And <laughs> they're sending another, like pitiful number at me. It is delaying the sieges, which is actually my benefit because oh yes, we're now winning the war and we contrib we've contributed 50% towards it. And that siege is done, so come through Jerusalem and onto I can't see what it is because that guy's ducal symbol's in the way. But yeah, come on. I think we've got to Jerusalem here. A daughter was born, yet another daughter, granddaughter that I can't name myself. Oh, and a son. So they were twins? I really think twins should bestow some traits as well. Not traits, some skills. These guys, they could raise at least 29,000 troops when we first looked. It's down to 21. Current relative strength is 100%. So their top levy, current top levy is only 7,000. But still, I see that's a number I need to be looking at. I was looking at their, like, potential top, I guess, and not their actual top. We know they was fighting a jihad over here. I guess, or despite the fact that they won it, it must have been costly. And I also think the Seljuks have um, taken... They have, actually. The Seljuks have taken a good bit of land from them. Yeah, so the Sunni have been fighting the Shia. 
Sonny's been fighting Shia. Shia's been fighting Orthodox. And then the Pope calls a crusade. I guess there's little more to be expected than what happened. He's going to try and siege it back with not enough troops. He's going to send more, but... Okay, yeah, there's a battle going there, but we're going to win it again because he sent another 2,000. Just to, you know, do nothing effectively. Because we're not taking attrition. I'm just going to let these guys siege. Hopefully the Pope and the the Irish people can at least, you know, stop these being re-sieged. They almost are able to do it. He's got no morale left and he's about to be killed. Oh, no, he has morale. That's fine. Have I got a intrigue score at the minute? I have. That's a lot of people to only have 126 plot power. Oh, I have to click it. Okay, let's take wipers. Oh, wait, you was one of the guys leading troops for me, weren't you? <laughs> um, this means war. Okay, French troops, which I didn't rate. Oh, crap. Never stood down the English troops. Uh, but now... We need to raise the French troops. So how many troops do I have? Maybe 2,000? Not enough. Let's grab all the French troops. A good 9,000. Meet up in Rouen. You guys for now just go dive on the um, the raiders there. I haven't raised up any troops over here, have I? I have. I already have troops over here. That's good. I stand them down. Stand them down. The ones from the Holy Land might as well join up with some of these armies. And getting back up to 10,000 should be good for me. Uh, the Battle of Tottenham. We won. So it's okay then. I don't need to worry about moving these guys. I can just stand them down. So we get about 10,000 from England. About 10,000 from France. And of course in England I include the Celtic country of Wales. And in France I include the Celtic country of Brittany. <laughs> and Aquitaine. But yeah. It's all good. All gravy baby. Okay. Siege is going fine. We're winning the Crusade. We've currently contributed 60 odd percent of the troops. To be honest, I say we've done more. All you guys did before I turned up was lose war score. All I've done is gain war score. For a minute that I thought that was the um, Caliph himself. But no, it's only the... Um... No dynastic heir. Oh. So that's going back up to the Caliph if he dies. I'm going to do the Caliph a favour, actually, then. And we're going to execute this guy. And he's going to make the Emir of Demand go to the Caliph. Yeah, I'm going to do the Caliph a favour. I don't know whether he'll recognise I've done him a favour or whether he'll say he hates me. But... There you go, Caliph. Have another duchy. Yeah, I, I did him a favour. I don't know if you'll believe it, but I did. Have some land, Caliph, in exchange for me taking Jerusalem. Oh no, don't be shy. You was the one that was doing well with. Come on, be gracious. Oh, nothing. Nothing's fine too, as long as it's not shy. I don't like shy. Uh, victory is ours. Let's let the more sieges pass. Come on. Come on. How are we going to get like 40 odd percent? Oh, uh, I might need to deal with Counter Zealand as well. My troops. Looks like he hasn't raised any troops. Let's just walk over to Wipers then. And why has the stream dropped out? 
hmm, I'll have to deal with that at the end of the episode, but for me, it is dropped out completely. Hopefully, it's still up for everyone else. So apparently, I've dropped no frames, but <laughs> yeah, I can't see it. So I don't know if you guys can. Come on, Sieges. We're at 40 odd percent. I need a new court chaplain. Apparently a new marshal as well. Oh, so the guy we married to our um, daughter. Yes, that's fine. And court chaplain. 20 learning. You're good. Uh, improve religious relations with the popey then. Popey, 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 popey. Poopy, popey. There we go. Hmm. Only one more minute, I think, to the end of the episode. We've won a battle. We've won a siege. There's only one last thing to siege there. Two more here, but that's because they keep interrupting us with battles. Even if they're going nowhere with them. A good 70-odd percent of the contributions is now ours. I've grown impatient with the Chancellor. His slothful makes him extremely... Oh. There's a chance I gain slothful. Oh no, we'll, we'll talk to him. I don't want him to be slothful. When I finished talking with Sterling Prince Charles, I uh, didn't really expect to talk back. I'm the left of my Chancellor. Is he still slothful? Uh, he is. He had it coming. I don't get how he can like me so much. I took his kingdom. Usurp title, minus 50. Come on, you was a the king of France. Now, fair enough, you're a double duke, but you was the king of France. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, that's all we have time for today. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.